All right, fight fans, welcome to Caveman Corner with your host, Jeff. Captain Caveman! Thanks. Yo, what's up? What's going on? How you doing? What's happening? Was everything good? We got a super special guest in the house. We got James Tony. Hey, man. Hey, thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate this. Oh, no problem. Thank you for coming on our little tiny-ass show we got shooting out of the Fan Doozy Studios in Buffalo, Buffalo New York. <laughs> yeah, we got, oh, okay. we, we got a, oh, a $100,000 studios for like 25 cents, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, man. That's all good. <laughs> I heard you didn't like Buffalo so much. <laughs> huh? I heard you Who's didn't like... That? When you were... Uh, right. <laughs> when you're shooting down uh, Ross the Boss... <laughs> No, 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 man! I ain't talking about D. He was talking about Buffalo's cool, but over there, I like the Buffalo. The damn weather is cool as hell up there, man. You're crazy. <laughs> That's that weather, that, that, that cold, that cold weather kills me. <laughs> yo, yo, um, your light out. Uh, so you got a website. Uh, you got you know got nice shirts going on. I bought a couple. Uh, no, hey, uh, appreciate. It. And uh, you know, I went to the party yesterday, the cookout, my girl's family, they like the shirt. You know what I mean? They was like, yo, Jim oh, Tony. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thanks for having time. How can uh, our fans come and grab one of them shirts? Or I, I know you're selling some yeah. liquor and uh maybe some cigars too. Well well my my is actually is one of my fiance. She does uh, that's a whole line she's doing by by herself. It's called Deuces Two and my Shop Fly. Shopify.com. Nice. Mr. Guy, Mr. Guy is, you know, Edwin Champs, the Cyber, Venom Booster, myself, Chris Bird, Ray Mercer, and uh, Ray McGarry Bow. Nice. And where can you get the cars at? At the receiver, right now, we're in between a distribution battle between two companies. It'd be, it, right now, we have the five cities. We have Michigan, we have Indiana, Indiana California. New Orleans and uh, Mississippi. Pretty soon we'll, we'll, we'll be everywhere. We'll blow up everywhere, everywhere. You'll see those people. We'll, 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 we'll do a TV show too. Pretty soon it's going to have way champs, a reality show. You, you can see what we do, how we do it. Every every it's out. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. How do you get in a and reality course, show? Yeah, and of course. Well, I, I have my own reality show. It's going it's going to sing it. It's called the Champion Street. As you know, on the side, I'm 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 a, I'm a legalized bouncy hunter. Oh, my thing. I, so, yes, I I, I drove the badass for real. I needed something to do. I was bored, so I want to try it. I love it. And we have fun doing it. You'll see. It, 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 it ain't just the spray can shit like, like the like the dog used to do. We do real shit. We have guns. Everything. We do everything. It's a great show. You see it. How about that? I'll see you in the trailer. God damn, the dog's got nothing on you, man. Holy fuck. I wouldn't want to get arrested by you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so, fun. It's, 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 it's long hours. It's hard work, Mr. Gay, but I, I enjoy it. I have fun. Where can we watch that show at? That sounds interesting, man. I'd like to see that. It's going it's to gonna, it's gonna come out in A&E in September. They will get, they will get me a release date on, on the 25th of the month. Awesome, man. A&E is a big station. Yeah, it's a huge, it's a huge channel. It'll it, 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 it come more after the new one that come out with. Um, New Hairs. New Hairs is going to come out. So, it'll it, it, it be a fair one. Are you still uh, watching boxing, man? What did you think about the Pacquiao fight? Oh, man, that was that, that was Howard Robbery. Yeah, it, it, it was the same situation. I fought my team. Everybody saw me, but they took it from me. Same thing. My, my opinion, he, he, he won nine rounds on the fight. I said, I said, we win that fight, period. He was see what is he could see that. Yeah, I don't think there's any way that he couldn't give him eight of those eight of those 12 rounds for sure. I mean, one round I thought was uh, questionable. I mean, uh, it just depends on whether you're landing accuracy or uh, how, how often the guy's hitting because the other guy was, was missing a lot, but he was throwing a lot of punches. <laughs> Man, the guy was doing he, he was. Am, am I, am I, I may be blind, but I only see him like seven, eight punches a round. Uh, he went, he can't went doing that. I was talking about the round. Yeah, right. 
I was talking about the round right before Pacquiao rocked him. I thought he was uh, he was landing a lot of punches on the gloves, and depending on how you score, I mean, because yeah. they were fighting in uh, Australia, so you know, obviously he's gonna get the yeah. hometown decision. He yeah. should have probably won that round. Exactly. That's why I won. I got Pacquiao over there. Pacquiao ten million bucks to give to give to give up the title. Basically, they bought the title. They bought the title. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did you see what Tony Atlas said? He said it was either the worst, yep. uh, the worst decision of all time, or, or it was just paid for. And there's no way it was the worst decision of all time. <laughs> Tony Atlas told well, him how it he, is. Hey, he told him how it is. That's how it was. Paid for. Paid for by Australia. For sure. What do you think about Tony Atlas? I, I, I love him. I love Tony Atlas because he tells me it is. He's a true guy. He's a true guy. That's, that's the way we're supposed to be in the sport about True guys. You just uh, recently fought on a pay-per-view that was billed as your retirement fight. Are you officially hanging up the gloves? Yeah, but, but, but we, we I, I was, that was the intention, but um, we, something came up. I can't say it right now, but it, 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 it was with old limits from where I fought back in 1994, and if that happens, that, that would be my last fight in I'm going to knock him out, too. Boy <laughs> Jones, baby. Yeah. Oh, uh, there you go. You, you said, you said, you know, he, he's giving everybody a rematch. He's giving everybody a rematch but me. <laughs> he was 25 years old. He said he must have more than one quarter of a round. It happened. I'm going to I said as long as I want to. I fight one of them. I fight. I could see you. <laughs> I could see you knocking him out third, uh, second round. Of course. No, I promise you. If it happens, if the both of us have a contract, excuse me, if it says a contract, I will put it like that. I promise you. What uh, weight are you guys going to fight at? Um, I'm a, we will come in at two. We will, I promise you, I, I can make 200 pounds. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'm, I'm ready. I'll be, I'll be at 200, no problem. Wow, all right. That's a considerable amount of weight loss. That'd be awesome, man. I'd like to see you guys fight at 200. You'll see. Yeah, I don't think he'll go out to fight you. <laughs> like I said, but like I said, if that means him, I'm ready to say the contract. He keep on going back from when we agree to one thing, he go go by, go by another, uh, another number. So what the hell is that crazy? The motherfucker see the fight. You've uh, you've won up quite a few weight classes in your career. Uh, as you've aged, you've gone up in weight class. How do you? How's the weight class been changing? Uh, the weight class change affecting you? Do you feel like you have less power the higher weight you go and you're faster, or uh, it looks like you still have you've been retaining your power as you've gone up in weight class? Yeah, let me tell you something. Well, people know I was off, off state, all my high school football player. I played defensive back, quarterback. I was two and five high school, two hundred five pounds high school. I want then when sitting around football, with my grades, I used to be being nowhere in the streets. I was like a boxer. That was my back, back of the sport. Everybody get with something. I was just ball and be a heavyweight. Just ball. And they go out of weight. I get ball losing weight, losing weight. I finally, I finally got from 205 to 157. I turned 12 to 157. I stayed at 157 for one fight. Moved to the middle weight. Uh, I might stay for two, for two years. And then for my, my own one at the time. They stayed in the middle and made six televisions in one year. Nobody's never done that. They said, no, and they'll never be done again. Look at my record, you'll see it. Six televisions all in one year span. I guess the best fighters in the world, too. Not chumps, best fighters in the world, like, all like today. Got moving from Bosnia. Then I won the head with hell. Then I won the crew with hell three times. It's crazy. Man, I feel bad for strong as I move up. I am strong and faster. Yo, what, I feel, I feel faster. Yo, what you think about uh, uh, Mayweather and Conor McGregor? Uh, I love Floyd, my man. I love Floyd. And you know, Floyd, you know, he may be, he may, he may go to prison. He may go to prison. He gonna kill his boy. His boy belong. He might, he might, he might, he might have to go two rounds. McGregor, McGregor is a joke. <laughs> you don't think he's gonna to, gonna go two rounds? Nah, I don't, uh, if Floyd, if Floyd puts, put, do we want to put, put 
the back, put the pedestal in the mouth. He can get him out. He can get him out of there within two rounds. You don't think Floyd's gonna carry him a couple of rounds? Yeah, I'll I, I say. I'll tell him Floyd comes in. Floyd will fuck around with him. He may not even fall around, but Floyd really, really serious. He'll put him sleeping two. Yeah. Two or three. Right. Yeah. I agree with you. I really think Floyd's going to come in there and play with him a couple rounds and then, then put him away. I don't think Floyd's going to come out, like, too hot. He's a very cautious he, he fighter. He's going to sell the pay-per-view. Right? Yeah. He's got he's to earn that $100 million. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think if they fought in MMA, how it would go? Um, if, if they fought in MMA, they said, well, I'm how I fought. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my thing was, Randy Troy, he, he, he was a good fighter. But... If we, if we, like, we were supposed to have a boxing match a month later. But after he beat me in, in May, he said, hell no, I, I'm not going to have a boxing match. So he's doing the time war. Right. Man, I have the contract. Uh, I have the contract. Where he's supposed to fight me in September. Oh, well, well, oh, 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 Tim was what? Me and what that was what? Yeah, I agree. Box, yeah, I boxing will, uh, a boxer will definitely be the MMA in boxing, and the MMA will have the advantage. Yeah, man. A lot of boxers don't like the grappling. They think it's gay. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. I see. I feel that way. <laughs> you know I mean? <laughs> hey, hey, look. I like, I like not getting people's head off. Go out wrestling and grabbing holes and shit. Ain't nothing. Tell me. I, I, I want to bust your brain up. <laughs> right? <laughs> What was it like fighting in a cage for the first time? Were you nervous at all? I mean, you got to be calm when you what? fight boxing. Was it a little bit different stepping oh, into a cage? Oh, man, I was 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 Hey, do you think Dana White is a cool dude? Cause a lot of people don't like him. I don't like him. I remember. I, I remember Dana White when he was a new Super Bowl boy with the balls in hell. He was covering my fellow Roy Jones. Ain't that bitch? How was it negotiating with him? I know you just uh, you kept twi- tweeting at him and Facebooking him, and uh, he actually put you in a cage. Was uh, was it pretty easy to deal with contract wise? I won. I was the highest paid MMA fighter ever at, at, at the time. I made one point five million dollars plus. Those bad game money, so who won? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think I've ever heard your salary release. Hey, 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 Hello. hey James, oh, would you do another Yo. MMA fight? Hell yeah. If, if the money's right, right? If the money's right. Look, while I'm fighting right now, my, my last fight, I just fought in, in my hometown. I may have me, I may have me now for that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I'm putting I'm putting still getting bad game money from the from the um, fight time thing review. So uh, if anyone wants to see me, if, if wants to see me ring, it's it got to be high six figures. Oh, yeah. Period. Listen, let us train you. Let me and K-Man train you if you do another MMA fight. <laughs> oh, I ain't no problem. Hey, look, I, I ain't have a problem training with that. The one that, the one that hit a motherfucker in the body shot or head shot or all, 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 all the hugs and grab will stop. All we got to do is get you sprawling, man. Sprawling and brawling to take everybody out. Hell, yeah. For sure, I got you. No doubt, no doubt, no I love it. Uh, I love that shit. You know, I, 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 I'm born to do. I'm born to hurt people for a living. That's what you gotta do. Take that, get that takedown defense. You, they try to get take you down, stuff them, and just knock the shit out of them. <laughs> you know, you, you should yeah. try. You should try and fight Emelianenko Fedor. He's uh he's he's an older guy now. He used to be probably he's considered one of the best heavyweights in uh, MMA history. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't I don't know what you're talking about. He he he's watching fight. Yeah, that'd be a, a very awesome fight. I mean, if you could land a punch on him and change his world, that would yeah. that make you a huge name in MMA. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely would train on takedown defense because, you know, Fader would try to take the fight down. To yeah, the he's ground. old as fuck, though. He's he's not moving so good. Yeah, he ain't got no chin. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, but, yeah, he, but you don't look at like this. All MMA fighters look to go to the ground. They don't want to get hit. Believe me, fit by the box with five out of on. Come on, man. If I hit a motherfucker with five out of on, I'll fuck the whole life up. <laughs> then you will fuck up somebody's sperm and they have retarded kids and shit. <laughs> That's how bad you hit. That's how hard hey, you hit them. <laughs> I, I, just, hey, I just don't fight big. But yeah. I, I ain't with that wrestling and all that bullshit. I want 
if you think if you if you're a man, man on man, punch. Land, land, hey, land the right shot. Try not to miss I'm sure we'll knock you the fuck out. Hell yeah. You beat one of my all time favorite box, Vander Holyfield. <laughs> how <laughs> how did that fight how was it beating him and uh what kind of guy was he? Man was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey James, do he uh do the headbutt? The headbutt people? Did he really do that? He was, he was trying, but he was trying, but you know, you see, we find out, we find out who the master was. I am, and I move my head. He couldn't do nothing. I got it. I was happy. I told him, look, every I had all of this pressure with Holyfield until the press conference. When the press, when the press conference started, and then him and Tommy Bush was like, yeah, James can be a good tune. Uh, what tune? What? Oh, hell no. You know, nigga, I, I I have done more than you have. I've done just as much as you had. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tune up. You know, I said, you know what? I can't wait to be respectful. I ain't talking about you. Know, all right. But that's you said that shit. Every other, I said, I'm talking about that. Everything on the table. I said, fuck you. Fuck your mama. I'm, <laughs> I'm not here. I told him that. <laughs> I, said, I, I, I said, I'm not here, man. I ain't playing with you. I, I said, you know what? I'm going to be right there funny, too. Oh, yeah. If you be a friend, I'm going to be right there. I'm going to be right there. I ain't going to work. That's how I fight. I do, I do a real sort of wrong. Y'all saw, y'all saw what happened. Y'all saw what happened to him, motherfucker. I fucked him up. I made him do Heisman. He, he did the ghetto Heisman. I said, I had a leg up in the air. I'm sorry you didn't feel, I'm, I'm sorry you didn't feel fine, but you, 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 yeah, he's he, 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 been fighting. I take no away from him. But that night, I will fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> K-Man, he, he fucked up your favorite fighter. <laughs> yeah, he did. I like him because he headbutts everybody. And he <laughs> I like when Mike Tyson bit his ear off. <laughs> well, that was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> I like Mike, too, because me and Mike, I'm from, I, I used to live in, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm, and Mike, he's from Brooklyn, too, so. BK, BK all day, boy. <laughs> <laughs> BK all day. I hate him BK the ball to book it down. Brooklyn. All right. Yeah. How would you ever fight yeah. Mike Tyson? Would I? Yeah, that'd be a big money fight too. Oh, it, it still would be. I would, uh, I would do him the same thing, the same one the whole field. <laughs> and I have, uh, I, I, I love Mike Tyson. I can't, I can't with Mike Tyson, but I would knock him out too. Ain't no problem. Hell yeah. Look, 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 of you wanted to fight uh, Roy Jones on Facebook and you got all these haters coming at you. What's up with that? I love haters. They keep me paid. <laughs> I love them. Hey, hey, I ain't got to get hey. That's what they do. That's what haters do. They hate. Yeah. They bitter because they love they, they bitter because they don't have my lifestyle. They bitter. Bitter, bitter, bitter. You know, I enjoy it. Keep on, keep on, keep on drowning yourself in sorrow. Keep saying, you hate me. But I love you because you keep me paid. For keep sure. Keep doing what you're doing. I love it. You, hey, you want to hate? I love it. <laughs> if you don't have haters, you're not doing something right. That's true. All, all day. My, 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 my grandfather said, my mom said, if you don't have about hating, man, <laughs> something wrong. Yeah. Who is the best heavyweight fighter of all time? Oh, it's easy. Ali. I'm a, I, I, he was a great, he was, he was the greatest, but the greatest fighter of all time is Sugar Robinson. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good For one. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 Ali wanted to be like him. Definitely. Will Robinson is the greatest fighter of all time. Yeah. Along with being right behind him, you got to say Eddie Charles or George Joe Walker. Why do you think that the heavyweight uh, division is the division that everyone wants to see? Seems like no one really cares about the lighter weights besides for uh, Mayweather, and that's just because, because he's man. That's because the heavyweight division, one punch can change the fight. One punch can change your whole fucking life. What weight do you feel the most comfortable fighting at over your career? Um, 217, two, between 215, 217. Okay, yeah. Feel comfortable, no weight cut, you just, it's easy to go, easy to fight? 
hey, whatever, hey, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm 15, 215, 217, all man is magical. <laughs> <laughs> but anything over, but anything, but anything over because I, I can just file fight. Hey, period. I can fight anybody anyway. It's still, it's still be dead, regardless. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, MMA, boxing. Um, I'm doing movies. I'm doing TV shows. I'm doing. I'm, doing, I'm all about that. And, you know, I, I love giving people. I love giving people something to hate. That's the most important thing. I love when motherfuckers hate me because they hate me. They hate me. I get more excited. How'd you, hate me. how'd you land a deal with A and E to do a, a bounty hunter show? I got, huh? I definitely got to check that out. How did you land uh, uh, the A and E show, the bounty hunter show? That sounds like a super cool thing. Because they was they was doing they were doing some new shows and my show my show we we, we were shopping my show and. We are lucky it, was, uh, it fell to a guy's hand with, um, with, with Rock Nation, and he took it in there, and they saw it, and they, they loved it. That's awesome. I, I can't wait to see it, man. I'm super excited to to watch that one. Thank Me and Ray you, were just talking about that, yeah. Yeah. He's, like, uh, yeah, looking for it right online right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm, Ray, I'm going to send it to y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all see what it is. For sure. We'll share it. And uh, when we post this interview... We'll tag all the links that uh, that Ray has. We'll, we'll yeah, we're gonna put your website, um, everything, your your alcohol drinks, your cigar, heavyweight champion cigars, everything. We gonna link it up to the end. And my and my hey and Ray. What's up? Point thing. Hey, send me your address because while we'll, we'll, we'll get another shipment in, I see you in your partner's cigar, and I will see you uh, about my my new honey cognac. I'm the only one in the world who has the honey cognac. Okay. Man, my, little honey, my, my, my little sore liquor. Okay, K man, you don't want to drink that, K man. Ray might not get out of the bed again. Like the last time we had a show, <laughs> and I I bought him a a, a Captain Morgan bomb, and uh, he didn't make it to the show. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, I got, trust, yeah I, got me. Me. I got messed up that night. I really <laughs> hey, Ray, trust me. If you, if you love it, if you love Cap, Captain Morgan, you gonna love this yak. Okay, you gonna love this con- this honey cognac, the only one in the world. Look it up. It's my little sword lights out looking. Okay. We should love it. We should do a bottle, and then we'll call him, and we'll interview him after we did a bottle. Come here. Yo, we're going to do it. Hey, send me a city address. I will, I will give you two bottles, one for your bottle, one for you. I promise you. You will call back, and you won't say, I got people who will buy it. Okay. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah, you know, but, hey, yo. Hey. Yo, we help you promote that joint over here. You know, we got rest of New York locked down. We do. Yeah. All right, man. And we're gonna uh, sell it to Ross the boss for three times what you're, whatever you're selling it for. I'll be, I'll be in a board. Hey, hey, that's the subject. I'll, I'll do it on my plans. I don't know what you do. God, God bless him. Yeah, you feel me? Hell yeah! You know what? Or, you know, you know, you, you guys are competitors, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all fight anybody. I gotta respect that. You know. Fighters, man. I got well, I fight. Well, I fought. I fight anybody. I all I, 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 I fight. I fought everybody. Everybody. Anybody. Everybody. It's been proven. Has what about what about track record? Can anybody? Can anybody touch it? Yeah. What do you think? I'm not. And the most important thing, I'm knocking motherfuckers out in every division. Every week, I'm knocking motherfuckers out. I just not not to kill, knock out. Cause I get so fucking hard. For guys that are coming up, what's the best way to to break into the pros? We got a lot of guys that are just entry level pros, couple wins, no losses. Look, no, no, no. See, that's the problem with these fights. Everybody look at all these how we, uh, what, they, uh, what they're doing today. We should do. I tell all oh, uh, uh, other fighters, go oh, look at the real the real fighters: Ed Charles, Ray Robinson, Archie Morris, Roberto Duran, Hearns, Hagrid. Those are the real fighters. I've I've two thousand. After the, after the, the new balloon came in, boxing, boxing and techniques, all the training, with the, with the shit. What, what went to shit about it? Just the boxers uh, themselves or the scoring or, or what went to shit? Just the way the guys fight or? All, uh, all, all around. Uh, they, today, see, uh, I, I'll make sure you have a few good fighters. 
um, Keith Thurman, your um, Spence Kid, your um, Triple G, um, Kovac, your Seven Ward. Of course, you know, well, I wish you can make one of the he's, he's going to be retired when he leave here, but you see, you always want to move with him. He's just a good point of view. Other than that, I don't see, and Terrence Crawford, I'm a to be right there. He's a motherfucker. Other than that, I don't see him else. Who do you see? Who? You tell, y'all tell me. I don't know. I don't see. You see what I'm saying? That's the boxing's need but, some but, superstars. But, but, but if it was the 90s, you had know, you had know, all the fighters who could fight. Who had skill, who showed skill. Everything, you know what I'm saying? You, you name it. For no worker, you know, no children, no warrior, all, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. James Tony. That's the most important thing right there, bam. <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you ever uh, worry about concussive head blows that repeatedly o- happens over and over again in boxing and MMA and football with all the CTE research that's coming out? Con- concussions? No, I, no, I don't worry about that. I'm too busy giving them. <laughs> what about training that's the area where people get beat up the most um usually what happens in the ring you see competitors come in and they they if they're high level guys like you they they beat the guy up but what, what we don't see is the six months or the eight weeks of training camp where, where you're bringing in guys that that are going to give you a good run for your money and, and you're paying your well, I, 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 you know, you know what? i like that for me honestly me i'm i'm the old guy i like boxing sparring every day I don't care. I don't care how many. Fight. If we got if we got fifty fights, fifteen fights, you you think you bad? You think you chill? Come see me. For we fight sure. every day. I'm a big hey, guy. I, I, I promise you. But fourth day, your ass your ass is making excuses. I'm oh, sore. I can't. My mama my my mama need me. My girlfriend pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you hit him hard enough, their girlfriend's name would be getting pregnant. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? For sure. It's all good, bro. It's great. Yeah. Uh, hey, Tony, was you in any movies? You, they said you was in the yeah, movies. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, I played Joe Frazier Ali. Okay. Yeah. I, was, I, did, I, I did Band Day. I did Live of Color. I was on the strip. I was on um, um, Moesha. I love a few things. Okay. I, was yeah. on, I, I, have, I have TV credits. I'm good. I'm good at what I do. I love it. I'm very fortunate. I'm very, I'm very blessed to be to be, uh, to be to be to be in that position to do those things with great with the great people. Do you find that more challenging and rewarding than boxing, or is it uh, boxing really where your money? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, boxing is easy for me. I was born to fight. I was born. I, I was. I, I was born to fight. But the, the Hollywood shit, man, eighteen hour days is a fucking joke, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, it, 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 it'll be different. Everybody see the glamour and glitz, but the hard work, shoot, you'll see what they be doing, man. It's real. Hey, let me say, oh, shit, this shit is real. <laughs> God damn. You make it sound like Hollywood's harder than boxing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> only we acting. <laughs> only we do this go all crazy, but uh, boxing, my problem is easy. I, 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 I got about 15 rounds. I was going to be here all night, no problem. That's why you're legend. Yeah, he that's why you're one of the legends of the ring, man, because we have a lot of guys on and they talk. They they want to get into Hollywood and not be fighting. You're like, ah, this Hollywood thing is kind of hard. I'd rather be in a ring. That's a real man, man. right there. That's a real fighter. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right. I think we're going to uh, we're gonna get out of here on you. Uh, I appreciate your half hour of your time, man. Uh, let's give your your stuff one more plug. So where can we get your cigars at? You get my cigars at heavyweightchamps.com. Or lemon Brewster. Uh, you can get my you can get my liquor, the store liquor, the store liquor dot com. You can get my my shirts and my hats at Brewster Two at myshopify.com. dot com. And most important thing, I love all my fans out there, and I love my haters. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we announce that you can get, get that Ray Jones fight? Is that uh, going to be a real deal? We try. We we we, we try and work out. Probably, uh, call him out for me. Okay. Came in. Came in. It's good. Uh, getting into uh, other fighters. Came in. 
Yeah. Gay man, do you screaming? Do you screaming? You yelling? <laughs> All right. Gay man, you said fire boy. Don't be scared, homie. Sign that contract. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, no God problem, man. God, man. We're gonna tag him in everything we do. We'll, we'll try and get this fight made. That's what we do. Hell yeah. All right, thanks, man. Boogie, I appreciate it. All right, All right. no problem, thanks, man. Thanks, man. thanks. thanks for coming on, day. man. All right. All Later, right. man. Later. James Tony was in the house. Yeah. What did you think we, about that interview? Man, listen, this is our first high class boxer. Yeah. World class. I should say not high class, but world class boxer. Yeah. He fought in the UFC. Randy we don't Couture. know if he's high class because we're not hanging out with him. But it sounds like it. <laughs> when we taste his liquor, we'll let you know if he's high class yeah, or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, you know, <laughs> he fought Randy Couture. Yeah. Um, he's a legend, man. You, you he gotta, is. You got to give him props. He's a real fighter, yeah, like, man. You don't hear too many guys say, ah, this Hollywood stuff's hard. I want to go punch someone in the face. Yeah. Look, Shit. he got 92, uh, 92 fights, 77 wins, 10 losses, 44, 47 knockouts. Twenty nine by decision, you know he, he's he, he's a he's a beast, man. Yeah, one of my favorite fighters. Um, I was talking to Corey. Corey said he's one of his favorite fighters yeah. too. Corey Webster. So, uh-huh. He beat know. one of my favorite fighters. I like that fight too. I really don't never like the Holyfield. You don't field. like Holyfield? He, he was a head butter. Man. Yeah, he's that's his, why I like him. Man. He's his big forehead and yeah, you know. he's always head first. That's kind of <laughs> I like that style. <laughs> if you was a boxer, you had the same style. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I could see you, came, man. <laughs> I just uh, I like how he found God too, man. Like, I don't know. It seemed like he was a bad dude, and then he found God and changed his life. I like I like stories like that. Who knows if it's bullshit or not? I mean, you don't know until you really know the guy. But what do you got going on over there? There's a big red light. Ray's watching porn over there. Or something changes good just popped up on the fan dude's <laughs> studio <laughs> computer. I don't know. It's uh, Windows got an update. Yeah. Yeah. We can't let man's on that computer no more. Yeah, she got a freaking virus here. Yeah, a lot of tentacle porn. <laughs> <laughs> James Tony gonna send us some loot, man. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna text him my address, and yeah. he's gonna send two bottles. Yeah, one for you, one for me. That's right. We gonna taste it. We go. We go call him up drunk. Yeah, <laughs> we gonna be in the studio drunk. <laughs> then we can call Brad Cole about the combo hitter after we do that. We're, we're just gonna plug all these products. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about uh, James fighting again? Uh, if he fight Roy Jones, that'd be a good fight. I would watch that. that would like to see that fight. Yeah. Two legends going at it. You, but, uh, but I think um, James Tony is still better, and you know they both older, and I and I think Joe, um, James Tony would knock him out. Tony's bigger now, you know. Roy's yeah. uh Roy's in a little bit better, uh, slimmer shape, not better shape, you know. Yeah, but uh, with boxing, I think I think he still got the the, the power and uh, the skill set to be uh, Roy. What do you think about his uh, cognitive health? Do you know what cognitive means? No. Oh, that's like uh, your brain. Oh. Your reasoning skills. Come on, K, man. I'm from the hub. We don't talk like that. <laughs> You're on a podcast now, man. You got to up that vocabulary a little bit. <laughs> um, I mean, he, he's doing, James Tony doing himself, you know. He, he's getting into business and, um, you know, he still want to, he like, still like to fight. So, you know. I, I I don't see him in a nursing home soon. No, I don't either, man. Yeah. I I feel sorry for him. not sorry for him. I I'm mean, he's taking a risk and he knows what's going on. You know, he's got to know that his speech is getting a little bit slurred, and he's having a hard time talking. But I think, as a fighter, you get to choose what you want to do in life, and and that's one of the great things about America. And you know, some guys are gonna fight no matter what, and he's one of those guys, and I, I think he deserves opportunity. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm a like I said, I'm a big fan, and uh, I came up watching boxing. So um, I used to watch him and some of the legends, Roy Jones and Mike Tyson, and all the other guys. And um, you know, I'm just you know, you know, I'm, I'm happy for them. You know, I came up watching them. I was a freaking little kid, man. I remember. Uh, I used to play a, a boxing game for the Super Nintendo, Legend of the Rings, and uh, I used to pick James Tony to fight. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So, you know, I, I was, was a fan of his, so, and, you know, I got his cell phone now, so I'm cool. Yeah. This is a pretty good gig we got here, just interviewing yeah. these guys. Jesus Christ, my phone contact. All the, all the numbers I got. Yeah. All these fighters. Sorry, right, I got Fred Edish. <laughs> 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 Once we get Harold Howard, my uh, UFC fanboy-ism is done. No. <laughs> 
All right, all let's right. let's get out of here. Thank you for getting James Tony. Oh, no problem. Um, I'll plug all this stuff on here when we get it up and running. I'll, I'll send you the links to okay. the, the websites and stuff. Sounds good. Yeah. We'll get up and running. Ray, what happened to your fight? Oh, man, yeah. Uh, no fight for me um, at this moment. Uh, Caveman's got to throw it under the bus. That's how it works on the show. Yeah. I know if we don't address it, people will be texting about it. So yeah. I got I to gotta ask you right here on the air. Alex... Alex is, uh, calls you out. He said you talk a lot, and then you didn't show up. Yeah, that's all right, though. But uh, I, I'm not going to respond to that because if I see him in the streets, I'll whoop his ass. But uh, I don't want to do that. He did talk a little shit, so he, yeah, he deserves yeah. to say that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, right, you know, I, I can't. I, I got, you know, personal stuff that I don't want to bring up in the air. And, um, and you know, but I'm going to be fighting again. I'm, I'm going to be fighting, and I'm going to get everything all cleared up. And, um, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm living life, and I'm going to have a good time. And I'm going to, you know, shit, I'm going to be back. And then uh, we, if Alex ever want to fight me, then we could do this. We could do a fight for sure. All right, I just want to address that real quick. Uh, Ray yeah. does have a real reason for uh, pulling out, and uh, it's an uh, all right one, I guess. <laughs> but check this out, though. You know, <clears throat> fighting, you know, it, it, you know, it's physical and it's mentally too. You gotta be mentally ready for a fight. And here's the thing. At, at here's one other thing for people to understand that that don't fight themselves. Ray's not getting paid to do this, so it's not like he's turning down a payday of like a thousand dollars or something to go out there and fight. It actually costs us money to go out there and fight to put on a show for you guys. So you, you gotta take that into account as well. Yeah, and uh, you know, I want to fight. I love fighting. I'm. I'm 36 years old. I got a son. You know, I got I got a, a fiance. I got I got to take care of my family, and, and it's kind of hard. You know, I gotta make the extra money. I was making money, and you know, some, sometimes stuff happen, and I'm gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna be back, and um, I'm I'm a strong guy, and I'll be back on my feet, and I, you know, I'm gonna, I want to fight Alex Carroll if he, if. If um, Alex Carroll probably doesn't really want that. Yeah. yeah you know <laughs> what? You know what? Um, to be honest with you. To be <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. That's you know, he probably, but um, he pulled out. I could talk some shit now. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, Alex Carroll, I respect him. Like I said, he's a tough dude. And, uh, you know, I get back in there training with the with the um, Eric Herber and them fight team and, um, if I fight with train with them, I'll be a better fighter, and um, you know I'm, I'm just gotta take care of my personal li business, personal life, and um, I'll be back on it. And I'm gonna, and I definitely want to fight, and I'll fight whoever. I don't care. I'll fight the light heavyweight champion in Rochester uh, promotion, the uh, FSC, FCP, FCP, yeah, full contact production. Bubba just pooped his pants. <laughs> Sorry about that, Bubba, <laughs> but uh, you know. You know, um, you it's put just, one out for Rich Mitchell, man. He's a good guy. Oh yeah, it. for sure. I like Rich. Rich is a cool dude. He always wanted me to fight for him, mm -hmm. and I, I felt bad. You know, I couldn't do it this fight. I wanted to so bad, but you know, certain shit happens in life, and um, sometimes I feel like being tested in life. And yeah. I, I'm gonna, you know, like I said, I'm gonna just go through this and get back on my feet, and uh, I definitely want to fight. Sounds good. I can say this sitting across my. Uh, Broadcast partner, he fears no man. I can tell you that right now. He's definitely not scared to fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. And uh, his reasons are pretty valid. And he'll be back. It's not going to take too long to get back in the cage for Ray. He's not hurt. He's not out of shape. He's going to continue to train through this. And he'll be ready to go for the next show. And uh, you better look out. The leg kicks are coming. <laughs> James Tony won't want to fight you because you kick him. And then he call you a bitch and a little girl. Tell you to eat a dick. <laughs> yeah, but I think he would catch me though. Yeah, he probably would. Put me to sleep. He probably put us both to sleep <laughs> at the same time. He's a big dude. He catch me with a left hook. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm out. Yep. <laughs> he said it'd be two rounds for Mayweather. We should have bet him. We should have bet him like a, uh, a lot of his his alcohol. <laughs> Get like ten gallons. Of yeah, alcohol. ten gallons or something. <laughs> a whole keg of. Yeah. Of, of <laughs> a keg of, of the cognac. Yeah. That'd be a good bet. I bet you it goes five. I'm saying five. I think maybe uh, like, but he did say if Mayweather wanted really wanted to, he could end it fast, yeah, quicker. But 
I it's guess not I, style, I, I, man. Yeah. So let's see. I, I, I can't wait to watch that fight. Plus, so. McGregor's got about four rounds before he gets tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not like me, one round. No. Oh. He gets past the 30-second mark pretty all right. Oh, okay. He is a professional athlete. <laughs> <laughs> all right, with that, we're out of here. Another K-Man's Corners in the Books from the Fan Dudes Studios, Studios in and, and Buffalo, Buffalo, New, New York. York. We are out of here. Oh, goddamn, Ray. Phone's still plugged in. Oh, shit. Sir, is this John Gearhart? Huh? Is this John Gearhart? No, it's not. But I can get it for you. Oh, can you get him for me, sir, please? Yeah. Hello? Is, you, is this John Gearhart? Yes, it is. Well, I heard you got the fight coming up, and I would like to sponsor you. Okay, who's this? Mohammed Adul. Alright, what kind of fight is this? Rich Mitchell gave me your number and told me you're looking for a sponsor. Did he hang up on you? Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hang up. <laughs> oh, man. This is my role. We'd like to sponsor you. What's up, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> you ass. <laughs> All right, you're an Easter egg. We got to let you go. Have a good day, man. See you this Friday. See you. All right, buddy. Bye. Yo, I'm going to be in his Bye. corner. All right. All right. That was uh, local oh, fighter. Hey, man, you messed it up. 111, <laughs> John Gearhart. That Easter egg was taking too long. <laughs> I was going to tell him that I worked in... Uh, uh, I own 7-Eleven in Batavia. Ah! <laughs> we're gonna tell him that. And I would like to sponsor him. Oh. I would like to sponsor you, sir. I believe that's a little racist. And My, th that yo, accent's not so good. It's not good. Oh, okay. No. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Damn, you messed it up. I did. I messed everything up. All right, we're out here. All right. Tell your <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if we called Morrison. Yeah, but his phone's out of service. <laughs>